The plane boundary defined by z equals zero separates air from a block of iron. If B1 equals x hat four minus y hat six plus z hat eight in air, find B2 in iron, given that mu equals 5,000 mu naught for iron. So we have our plane boundary and we have one medium and then we have the second medium. Um, and then we're defining this as z is less than zero and this is z greater than zero. Z greater than zero. And then we have, um, this is going to be our z hat direction. So if we look at the normal component, the normal component would be the z hat direction. And so this is B1n and this is B2n. These are actually equal to each other. So B1n is equal to B2n, that's a condition. Um, the normal component of B field is always continuous. So it doesn't matter what medium you're in, um, the B field will always be, the normal component will always stay the same. So um, knowing this, B1n is equal to B2n, um, B to z would just be equal to 8 because they're the same. So now we want to find our um, tangential component. So tangent would be h1t and h2t to the surface, so it's tangent to the surface. And the components that are tangent to the surface are our are, are x and our y components. So the boundary condition for this is h1t minus h2t is equal to the surface current density. The surface current density is defined as a current over the length. In this case, there's no surface current density on boundary, so this is going to zero. And so that just becomes H1T equals H2T, which is just B1T over mu naught, and then B2T over 5,000 mu naught, which was stated in the problem. And then since we're dealing with vectors, this has to be, we have to do our x separately and our y separately. So let's do our x first. So b1x is 4, that over mu naught, and then b2t, b2x is what we're solving for, and then we have 5,000 mu naught. So then just cross multiply and b2x comes out to be, um, 20,000. Now if we do this for y, um, so y would be just um, negative 6 over mu naught, negative 6 over mu naught is equal to b2y over 5,000 mu naught. Um, cross multiply and b2y would equal b2y would equal negative 30,000 negative 30,000 um, so our final answer for the b field for B2, um, B2 would be x hat 20,000 minus y hat 30,000 plus z hat 8. And that is the answer to our problem.